Hey there, it's Jay, and before we start this video, I just want to make a clarification. Some people call this app Maestro, and some people call it Mistro. For the purposes of this video, I'm going with Mistro. And with that said, let's start the video. Today, we're going to talk about the rideshare app called Mistro. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a comparison of old school switching apps versus Mistro live and in action. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And today's video is all about Mistro. And I'm gonna give you my personal review of this uh, app. So, Mistro is an app which is available on Android phones only. Now I don't have an Android, I only have an iPhone. So I haven't been that interested in pursuing it. But the folks at Mistro sent me this fancy little Moto phone and I got to uh, Kick the tires, give it a shot. So let's get started. Mistro is an app which you can purchase for $11.95 per month, or you can uh, pay for it by the year and get a, a decent discount on the per monthly rate. Now, the purpose of this app is to make it simpler for rideshare drivers to accept and decline rides. So the way it works is really simple. You install Mistro, uh, you set your preferences, you then go out, put your phone to work, you hit the Mistro button, everything starts up, it accepts your first ride that you get, and then it turns off the other app. So let's say, for example, you get a Lyft ride, and then it's going to shut off Uber for you. Now, let's go into some of the details about Mistro, and let's break down some of these screenshots so you can see exactly what this, uh, what this baby can do. Awesome, so this is the home screen. This is where you select your apps. You also indicate your primary app, the one you want to open first. And then you can also set a time delay as to when you want your second app to open. The sleep button at the top is what you hit when you want to not use Mistro. You click that when you want Mistro to start. This then is the second screen, which is where you select the types of rides you want to accept. Many drivers don't like the line or the pool so here you can just turn those off and any requests that come in for those will be automatically declined. That's pretty cool. Now we get to the next screen which is where you indicate your preferences. So this is where you would select say 10 minutes. You don't want any rides that are more than 10 minutes away. That's the accept acceptable time for passenger pickup. Then you can also indicate acceptable passenger rating. Let's say you don't want to take any passengers that are lower than a 4.6. Well, you would set that there. And then you can also indicate what surge you're willing to accept. Let's say you're in a high surge area and you will only accept a surge of two. This is where you would indicate that right there. So those are some pretty cool bells and whistles. But the question remains, how useful is Mistro? I believe there are four factors that can help you decide if this is something you want to purchase and incorporate into your rideshare driving experience. The first factor is, the market that you're in. So I'm in a market, San Francisco, where it's quite busy. I rarely get a ride where I have to drive 10 minutes. So that feature of Mistro wouldn't be so useful for me. You may be in a smaller market where things are more spread out and you consistently get longer rides that you don't want to take. Mistro would just really save you a lot of time and uh, take care of all that decision making uh, right up front. The second factor is the providers that you use. Now, for example, I drive in San Francisco and I constantly, consistently get the Lyft power driver bonus, but it's dependent on me maintaining a 90% acceptance rate. So I would never decline a Lyft ride unless it met very specific criteria. I want to accept everything that I can. However, you may be in a market that just has Uber where the acceptance rate doesn't really matter in terms of bonuses. In that case, it makes much more sense to use Mistro. If you use both, again, then it makes sense to use Mistro. Third factor is your experience. So I've been driving a long time, two years now, I've got 16,000 rides. So I've been switching apps quite a bit, right? 16,000 times or so. So for me, it's second nature. So uh, if you're starting out new though, that might be a little uncomfortable for you. And, so, and Mistro would definitely solve that problem for you because it, it's almost transparent. It just accepts and declines and you don't have to think about it, you don't have to be pushing any buttons, you don't have to be focused on your phone. So if you're newer, 
I would say definitely uh, take a look. The fourth factor is what I call situation analysis. So there are certainly times where Mistra would have been great for me. For example, on New Year's Eve, where I would be driving for Uber and the surge was really high, like around five, five percent, five hundred percent. Well, if I could set the surge rating to only accept rides above, say, 400, um, then I wouldn't have to be declining, declining, declining till I got that 400 uh, percent surge. So in situations like that, uh, Mistro would be really, really great. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you some videos of me doing it old school and then me doing it with Mistro. And then we'll come back. You can see I have one more. I've got 19 of 20, so I need one more ride to get my $70 bonus. So we're going to start off going online with Uber, and then we're going to go online with Lyft. And now we just wait. Now, when I get a ping, what I'm going to do first is close the app that I'm not using. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to close that one, close the Lyft, then we're going to go to Uber, and we're going to accept. And then I'm going to press navigate and go now. So now let's see if we can get a lift ping. So I'm going to go online with lift first. And I'm going to go online with Uber. And I'm going to set lift in front. So I am ready. There we go. So I'm going to accept right Navigating away. to pick up. I'm going to close down Uber. Going to hit navigate. And we are on our way. Okay, let's fire Mistro up. It's pretty cool because it starts both Uber and Lyft at the same time. So with just one little button push. I'm going to go off of sleep and it fires up Uber, then it fires up Lyft. Oh, I had my destination filter on, so I'll turn that off. And we're ready to go, just like that. Pretty slick. So now we'll wait for our first ride. There it is. Pick up Jessica at 825 Olmstead Street. Okay, so it automatically accepted it. It's firing up my Waze app. And we are off and running. Now let's just take a quick look. And we can see that the Uber app is offline, automatically turns it off. So pretty cool. Let's go pick up Jessica. All right, so I just dropped off Jessica. I'm gonna go back to Lyft. Say so I've dropped off Jessica, confirm drop off. I'm gonna give her five stars, she was awesome. Submit. And the Lyft app is back on, ready to roll. And let's double check that the Uber app is going to go back online. Oh, no, I guess not. I, oh, there she canceled. So this is uh, great. You get to see all of this. So let's go back now and see that the Uber app is turned back on. Oh, there it goes. Going online. All right. So now I am set. I'm going to put my lift back in front because I like it like that. And we're off for our next, our next passenger. Oh, there we go. Another Lyft passenger. You can see it just turned off the 
Uber app, and she's very close. This is Rebecca, and we'll make the pickup now. All right, I just dropped off Rebecca. So I'm gonna hit drop off Rebecca, confirm drop off. She was awesome. Give her four stars, five stars, of course. All right, so we are back online and let's just see what's going on over here with Uber now. There's Uber, it takes a few seconds, but uh, Uber will go back online. And there we are, ready to go. So, I think you get the idea. It makes uh, turning apps on and off a little bit smoother. So what was interesting to me was when I started to use Mistro, I absolutely loved it. I love technology and I loved the freedom that it gave me to just drive around. I mean, really, I didn't have to do any of that. Uh, I really wish it was on, on the iPhone. So if you have an Android, by all means, Get this app, try it out. You can always drop it if you don't like it. But uh, I found it to be very uh, uplifting and I had more time to talk to my passengers and look out the window and enjoy the scenery. It just took one little less task off my list. So I became a big fan once I actually used the app and started driving around. So there you have it. There's my review of Mistro. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, by all means, uh, take a look at this a YouTube channel that Harry has provided for you. Every week there's a new video, new content. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and check that off. And if you haven't subscribed yet, by all means subscribe because you're just going to be constantly inundated with good content, good information about rideshare driving. This is Jay Crater. Y'all have a great day out there.